All right, guys, I am back at it this morning. It is November 6th. Uh, right now we've got a south wind that's um, pretty steady. I don't know, maybe probably 10 miles an hour or something like that, but enough to have a little bit of noise cover going in. Um, I'm gonna go jump in the stand that I hunted the other evening, uh, tight to some doe bedding. Um, this will be the second time I've sat this stand this year. I'm gonna go jump in there. Um, we'll sit there till kind of midday and then I'm, we're gonna have a big wind switch. I'll jump in, keep you guys posted and uh, yeah, sweet November. What a wild morning. I I did my interview up here, got in the stand, and literally as it was cracking daylight, um, I had an opportunity at a buck, and I shot him. Um, but I called Nate and the boys and Travis, and everybody's coming over, um, so we're going on a blood trail. We'll just go to the first, I found the arrow, it was soaked in blood, I put it with the first blood, and I didn't I go wanna, any farther. I wanna review it again. Turn the volume on for me. Here's a, it didn't make a really loud pop either, but the wind was, humming and I couldn't okay. so you can hear it hit him but it didn't make the but he runs away and then he kind of like tucks tail tucks his tail and goes right into that thicket he didn't dig real hard he didn't dig real hard we're gonna have to creep <laughs> let's do this you got me all nervous now buddy no he didn't look like he was hit real hard I know he went straight into this thicket and then I'm pretty sure I saw him laying in there what if he's in there just not dead? Then I probably ought to kill him then. So, I was in this stand this morning, and right at gray light I rattled. And this deer comes working out of that thick stuff right across here. He went over into that clearing and I couldn't tell what he was. I just thought he was a decent deer and so I grunted and then he came running back through here up into the pines behind me. And at that point I'm like, okay, I think it's a pretty good deer. For some reason, after he works past me and I get that like behind him shot, like with my eyes, I'm like, wow, like he's a little bit wider, like he's got a bigger body. I think that's a good deer. A little while later I rattled again and he came sprinting out of the pines back out into this stuff. And at that point, I was looking at him from behind, and I'm like, that's a, I think that's a pretty good deer. So I grunted, and he turned and walked on a string to 10 yards right here, and I shot him. And I, he went over into that thick stuff over there. That was the last time I saw him. So we're gonna take up the blood trail and just creep, because the footage is inconclusive in terms of what really happened, because of how close the shot was. It kind of blurred out, so we'll see. Yeah. Down. Is he down? <laughs> I think he's right there. <laughs> yeah, he's freaking big body. Look at his ass. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> oh, ass. yes. He's a sweet deer. Dude, he's a big deer. He's a really big deer. He's a really big body deer. <laughs> Dude, he's been fighting a little, I think. Look at his forehead, bro. He's a mule. <laughs> Look at you smoke him. That's a that's it. Like, did you see his face? It's a three or four year old, yeah. Look at his brisket. That was yeah. the thing that. You, you kept telling me that when we were like always debating how to age deer. You're like, if you got that saggy brisket in the front, like they're an older deer. And I like, I passed him when he came through first and then I saw that again. I'm like, dude, he might be a decent deer. He was slightly quartered too, but I put it 
basically tight or like right on his shoulder. Again, I'm shooting these rack fixed blade broadheads. Both shots I made this year, I was very pleased with those. Like this one was right on his shoulder and it blew through him. Blew through him stuck in the dirt. This, this little thing, like he snapped that tip off, like must have been in velvet or something because it, it's rubbed. I got back, I got looking back at photos and that, like he's had that, the few Point. photos I've had of him, he's had that little like all off there. Oh yeah. Smoke city, dude. That might be the biggest body deer I've ever killed. I, I, I don't know based on score, but he's one of the better deer that I've ever killed with my bow for sure. Um, huge like huge body like that's what blew me away and i think we we talked about that in the footage like we walked up on him like god this is a big body deer yeah it's my first like good morning deer i shot a little basket one and a half year old in the morning one time i've never shot like a good deer in the morning you have the whole week off you just tagged out mm -hmm. shot him in first light and now you get to enjoy it all week and watch me hunt yeah <laughs> i'm taking you hunting tonight yeah we're gonna go to date let's get the video of us hauling this sucker out of here Come on now, fold your legs. Fold your legs Sir. like a good boy there. <laughs> Stiffer than he said. I ain't yeah. leaving this damn thicket. You can't make me. We still gotta do a podcast and you wanna go deer hunting tonight. It was so fun shooting morning deer, dude. Yeah. Like we got him, we did the whole thing, like we took photos in the daylight, we got him hung up, we we all hung out, Relished had a couple beers. Moment. Like it was it was cool. Bring it in, team. <laughs> Hard to complain about that. What's the what do we say? We need it. On three. Buck. Just brisket buck, yeah. Brisket buck on three. One, two, three. Brisket, brisket buck. buck. Oh, oh that was weak <laughs> as hell. <God> <laughs> I even got the audio from him. I'm underwhelmed.